Hi guys! So ngayon ay tuturuan ko kayo kung paano gumawa ng Google Sheets. Marami nagtatanong sa akin kung paano gumawa ng Google Sheets. So ngayon ay I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to make a Google Sheet in this video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my video or my videos para updated ka mas lalo sa mga videos na aking ipopost. So uh, pwede po ito siyang ma-share at saka automatic na po ito kung kayo ay mag-e-encode ng information nyo. Pwede rin siyang ma-share sa GCs, group chats, or or sa mga organizations na kabilang ka. Tsaka kung gusto mong kumuha ng kanilang mga data or information to your colleagues or sa mga kasamahan mo, pwedeng-pwede po siya. So, appropriate para po itong Google Sheet kasi po um, automatic save na siya. So, kahit hindi mo na siya i- control save or pumunta sa 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 menu or sa file para i-save lang ang document. So, this is very important po to gather the information and we are using this in this time of pandemic na ginagamit natin siya to get the data and the uh, number of participants, number of teachers or any numbers or or information that you wanted to collect or to have. So, um, in this video, I am going to show to you on how to make Google Sheets. Okay? So, napaka-easy lang po ito gawin. At saka, hindi po ito mahirap. So, easy lang po ito. So, thank you so much. Ayan, pupunta na tayo para makapagsimula tayo ng tutorial. The first thing you need to do is to open the Google Chrome. So, that is the logo of the Google Chrome. So, you just click it. Just wait for a while because it is processing. Be patient upon waiting while any search engines will do such as Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer. The first time you are going to do is you need to type the google.com here in the web page here on the top. Okay, so type google.com. Okay, just wait for a while. Let's have it again. Google.com Then, click enter. Or either you can have this. You're just uh, going to click this. Okay, just wait for a while. It's still loading. Kumakarga pa po siya. So, wait, wait lang po tayo. Okay, so there you go. So, this would be the, the interface of the Google. Then, the thing you are going to do next is uh, you need to click this dots or shall we say the Google app. So, I already signed in in my Gmail, I mean in my email account. Then, I just click this thing. Uh, once you signed in, this will be the, the outcome or the result of what you had signed in your email and your password. So, click this thing, this Google Apps, then select the drive. Okay. Let's wait for a while again. Alright. So, here we are now in this interface. Okay. So, we have the drive. So, this is the logo of the drive. And uh, these are all my files. The files that I had um, saved here or automatically saved. Then, I'm going to click the new as you can see, the plus sign, new, in order to make a Google Sheet. So, click the new button there. Click the new and then select the Google Sheets here under the word Google Docs. So it's logo, it's like a cross with the color of a green. 
then you just click this Google Sheets okay then it's loading so we are now here in the interface of Google Sheets or Sheet okay so to describe the Google Sheet it looks like a Microsoft Excel so this is also the the interface of the Microsoft Excel just uh, look like okay and um, it has features also or different uh, buttons to be explore and to be discovered here so how to make now Google Sheets okay so we have here a b c d and so on and so forth we have also numbers here at the left side so for example you are going to uh, click here any categories or you wish to gather an information okay shall we say we're going to gather the data of the teachers okay so we will know first the name of a teacher so let's put name name of teacher then let's uh, transfer it to another uh, letter B letter C I mean um, let's put here sex then um, let's put here number of years in teaching there okay so just like for example we have three categories we have the name of the teacher the sex and the number of years in teaching okay so let us um, arrange this first let us merge this just right click and then find the merge okay so um we are going to put it on the center okay but we need to merge it um merge just find the merge here merge all okay there you go so it was merge then the sex let us put it on the center then here a and b let us merge and format merge cells merge all okay so there you go it is organized now let's put a color there orange for the name of the teacher and for the sex yellow number of years in teaching let us have the blue light blue I really don't know the color of this okay so name of teacher sex number of years in teaching okay so we have now our Google sheet and then we are going to put an, a title here in the untitled spreadsheet so let's say data of teachers okay so we have now our title data of teachers we have the name of the teacher sex number of years in teaching and then what should we do next uh, let us going to share it okay share all right let's wait for a while there you go so share with people and groups so if you wish to add an email or gmail or any organization mail you can uh, click here their names just like that so it will just only appear or um, if you wish to add persons okay then we have here got it we have here your name okay so uh, we need to change this restricted we need to click this one 
the restricted one and have the anyone with the link so that they could um, access then we need to change this to into editor so that those who will encode or who will enter in this in this Google sheet the, their data and information could encode and could answer the the following categories here then click done then share click share again and then copy the link here okay so after that uh, you are you need to share it to your group chats to your um, chat rooms like that in order for them to access and to encode their information here okay okay let's say i'm going to share this to one of my group chat in facebook okay so share it click the share and then copy the link all right so anyone could access now huh then click facebook and then let's have this gc and then Control v or paste here there you go and then send there so that's the link okay so that's the link now data of teachers so the teachers will um click this link and then they will go here in this data or in this google sheet to encode their informations or the categories that are given here they are going to input their responses and um, for the information of everybody once they in they enter their data or information here it is automatically saved okay so if the 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 owner or the one who created this google sheet could uh, see that there are persons or people who are encoding the information here so it is automatically saved no need to control s or to save this google sheet because once you click the x here and um nalagay mo na yung mga information mo dito or yung mga mga data mo tapos kinlik mo yung x na open ni host or yung nagcreate makikita niya yung yung data kagad so yan lang po so easy lang po yung google sheet at saka automatically save siya so as you can see may nakalagay dito last edit was 8 minutes ago so nakalagay din dyan kung how many minutes did you um, encode or input your data or edit your responses hello guys so I'm back again so that's all about Google Sheets and I hope that you really learned a lot on the tutorial that I had rendered. So easy lang po siya, napakadali lang po gumawa ng Google Sheet. Noong una hindi po ako marunong pero nung tinutukan ko siya at saka willing ako mag-learn. So yun, natutuhan ko ang paggawa ng Google Sheet. So ang napakaganda dito po ay ay automatically save po yung mga data ninyo. No need to, to save or to control S just to save your responses. But automatic na po yung nasisave yung mga data ninyo. At saka, um, very helpful po siya sa mga research. Kung gusto nyo pong gumawa ng mga researches or any conduction about um, the data and information of the respondents or kahit anong yung mga respondents ninyo na nasa research ninyo. So, very helpful po siya to gather the data and information. And also, uh, you can have also here the, the number of participants or whatever. So, yan ang po. It's all about Google Sheets. Thank you and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And um, to be more updated of my videos, just click subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much and God bless, advance, Merry Christmas to all of us. Bye!